everybody and welcome back to another Unturned 2 update video. This one is pretty exciting with a lot of new additions, so I'm just going to get straight into it. So the first thing is backpacks. So if I put this backpack on here, it acts as a normal backpack as you can see, but if we inspect it, it is in fact a modular backpack and it has two little pouches here which you can remove or add on, which of course add inventory space. Now Nelson actually took this a step further by saying that he might be adding different types of pouches which give different benefits. So for example, there could be a fast reload pouch where when you've got magazines in that pouch, you reload your weapon faster. Now the next thing we've got is armor. So as you can see, we've got a vest and a few of these little metal plates here. And we've got two big ones over here. Now if I put this vest on, you can see that this is just a normal vest. We've got two little pouches, just like the backpack. However, above that, we have space for these armor plates. So the big ones are for the front and back, and the little ones are for the left side and right side. So now you really need to make sure you've got a full plated vest in order to be protected from all angles. Now, of course, these plates block damage from bullets, so instead of blood splatting when you shoot somebody, you will now see sparks if you hit the armor and that indicates that you haven't damaged them. Now as you can see, the armor has a health value. So the more the armor is hit, the more that the health value goes down until eventually it's broken and you need to repair it or maintain it or whatever to make sure that you're still protected. Now we can expect to see different types of ammunition added in the future, which can combat different types of armor. So for example, we could see armor piercing rounds, which might bypass armor completely and actually pierce the armor and still do damage to the player. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the movement physics of this backpack? Look at the jiggle of this when I walk. This is so cool. And it doesn't stop there. When you've got guns in your backpack, they actually appear on the sides of your backpack, which does make more sense. And of course, they are fully equipped with jiggle physics. Now moving on to the weight system. So you may notice that I'm moving a lot slower now that I've got a backpack full of stuff. And that's because every item in the game now has a weight value, which directly affects the player. So the more weight you're carrying, the slower your movement's gonna be. And this even goes down to the weight of the attachments on your guns as well. So every little detail has a weight value. As you can see here, I'm moving so much faster when I've got nothing compared to when I'm fully geared. And I really like this implementation because it allows for different play styles with different benefits. So for example, you could bring a light loadout to a gunfight and you could be quick on your feet or you could bring a heavy loadout with more power, but it'd slow you down. Now, one thing that I did mention in the last update video was Bandit AI. And I am super happy to say the first stages have been implemented into the game. And here they are. Now, these boys over here do actually shoot at you. So, oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. And now he's taking my stuff. I didn't realize they were that powerful. Uh, let me just try and get a gun again real quick. All right, let's try this. Oh, oh, that genuinely scared me. Oh my goodness. These guys, these guys aren't messing around. Now, at the minute, they don't actually seem to react to gunshots. So that will probably be changed. But as you can see, when you do kill them, they drop a little box and in this box is all their loot. Now, I honestly would prefer if you could loot the bodies instead of the box. I think that just seems more fitting. However, I'm just gonna rob this guy's clothes real quick. Now, I'm really hopeful for the future of these bandit AIs. They're gonna open up so many more gameplay opportunities. I'm talking about completely single player AI missions that you can complete. And just the simple fact of roaming around and having to worry about AI bandits. Like, I honestly, I love that idea. And it's something that I have wanted in Unturned 3.0 for so long. And I am so, so happy that it's gonna be in this game. All right, I've got an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm interested to see if these bandits shoot at cars and if you can run them over. So let's find out. There he is. Oh. Oh! What the? What? No. Okay, I think he's out of ammo, which is good. Nelson, please fix. Okay, so this next thing I want to show you is super, super cool, and it is the ghillie suit. Now, as you can see, you can put the ghillie suit over the clothes you're already wearing, but that doesn't really give you much camouflage. So, I would recommend completely taking off the clothes and just wearing the ghillie suit. And as you can see, you are much more camouflaged. But it doesn't stop there because you can put ghillie netting on your guns. That is right. This is something that I've been wanting for so long, and I feel like all my prayers are being answered. You can just... Put ghillie netting on your gun and there you go. Handguard, if you want to put ghillie netting on that too, there you go. Now your gun is fully camouflaged and you can lay around in the grass 
I mean, obviously I need a hood, but uh, I don't think that's in the game yet. And then you could use a stance feature to just slightly lift your head a little bit, and you can go back down into the grass. Now, I was reading the devlog post for these ghillie suits, and once again, my prayers have been answered. In fact, I was speaking about this to some friends the other day before I even read the post. Finally, in this game, low settings will not give you an advantage. So, you know, like in 3.0, when you turn off the grass and you can just see people in ghillies from like miles away because they stick out because there's no grass. Well, this time, that isn't the case. It doesn't matter if you turn your grass down, if you turn your shadows down. That means ghillie suits will be useful against all players, regardless of their settings. Now, some more clothes have been added. So, we've got a beret, we've got shirts and pants, which you've probably seen before. We've got a civilian type backpack, which isn't modular. And then we've got some gloves. I've got to say, I love how the clothes are no longer just a texture now. Like, look at the boots, look at the gloves. They're actually their own model that sits on top of the player mesh, which is just, it just makes it look so much better. So then, my final thoughts on this update. I really, really like how this game is coming along. And I think right now, more than ever, it feels like a game, if that makes sense. I think every little detail has been so well thought out, and it's clear how much Nelson Nelson has improved as a game developer, coming from Unturned 3.0 to 4.0. Just a couple quick things that I'd like to address real quick. They're really small, but I feel like when navigating inventory, you instinctively want to just drop things by dragging it out of the inventory, but you can't do that. You have to drop it into nearby. I feel like this should be added since it's in 3.0 anyway. You can just quickly drag outside of the inventory to drop an item. I don't know why that's not in the game. Uh, maybe it's meant to be and it's just not been added yet. Now, another thing is it feels like when you jump, it feels like it's in slow motion. It feels like the gravity is, is too low. Let me show you. Maybe it's just me, but does that feel like too slow to like jump off there? It feels like I'm on the moon or something. I, I don't know. So if I jump off the roof here, it just feels like too slow. I don't know. But anyway, I think the logic of this game is great. I mean, just things that you really wouldn't think about. Like when you put a gun in your backpack, it doesn't actually go in your backpack because it wouldn't fit realistically. It goes on the side of it. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this update video. There's been quite a lot to cover, but I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to this game just as much as I am. If you want to read the full devlog post, there is a link in the description, of course. Don't forget to leave suggestions as well. Nelson is very active on looking at the suggestion board, and community feedback, of course, goes a long way when creating games like this. So, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.